We fix that problem by creating building shells that unpack matrix style and triple in size. In their pack down condition, they can ship eight and a half foot wide all around the world with no flag gasks, completely legal. And when they unpack, they can unpack to make pretty much most things most of the time. Can't leave a stack and connect. It's a diverse world with a lot of architectural styles. Boxable building shells can build anything, most anything, all the time. Okay, great. So you get a general idea of what Boxable is. They're basically like giant Legos. How about we get out of here and go check out this giant factory and look, and look under the hood of sustainability. Let's go. So we're here in our conference room in glorious North Las Vegas. Uh, I am actually an industrial designer by training and my alma mater actually is about 500 feet from you. Uh, at the Central St. Martins. So you can see as mechanical engineers and designers, but especially designers, all of our products have to be beautiful. And as you can see, that includes our absolutely beautiful studio. Meanwhile, let's go take a look at the factory. So we're gonna get in our space capsule here. The company gives tours every day. We have a literal Disney ride where the doors open like uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, that's really just to, as a big thank you to our fans. And it's had some unintended positive consequences because the fans then post things up on social media. Sustainability, when you really look under the hood, as I mentioned earlier, is really, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a function of cost. When you, when you have high, co what does cost mean? Cost means more material, more movement more labor. When you minimize those things, when you move, when you have less unique parts, uh, you remove a part, remove a process. When you, when you have less movement of a product or people from A to B, this is all less energy, less energy is more sustainable. So the production of the boxable product really hones in on this in terms of utter, utter, utter efficiency at the granular level. And we'll be able to see that if you bear that in mind as we go through the factory. By the way, if you look under your seats, you'll find a controller and you will be able to steer my car. All right, who, who looked under their seats? Okay, so here we have our SIPS panels. We are in the factory, we have, hey guys, we have giant equipment. We're not out in the field with little air guns and sticks of wood. We make SIP panels. Our homes are made of steel, concrete and insulation. Uh, they, are, they are laminated together on this line to my right and then they are pressed with 250,000 pounds of vacuum, a quarter million ton of va pounds of vacuum in these eight vacuum chambers. We will be able to make a panel about every three minutes on our next generation of production line. You're not doing that in the field. Ahead of me over here is our panel library, what we call our panel library. It's not terribly interesting reading, I have to say. And to, to my right, we have uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the paint booth and the sanding booths. You can see the panels here are absolutely huge. If they were in the field, you certainly wouldn't be able to pick these up very easily. But as we say, we can pick things up and put them down with heavy equipment. If we look to our right here on the sanding, uh, on, the, on, the, on the paint and sanding booth, we can see some of the panels being prepped. So we are a panelized system. Meanwhile, this is our production line. Why don't we hop out and take a walk about? I think that would be much more interesting. So we had Porsche Consulting, Porsche the car company, 700 consulting engineers, absolutely amazing. We didn't have all 700 here, but they came down uh, to help us to set up really an automotive production line. One of the things you saw in the video is the fact that Boxable divides space into two basic functions, dollar dense and empty space. What we realized, one of the key aha moments is about 70% of traditional buildings are about empty space. So we said, let's fold that down matrix style. Easier said than done, by the way. And then the remaining uh, core space that we have is dollar dense. What do I mean by dollar dense? I mean it's dollar dense in terms of labor. All of our Bob the Builders are back here, all of our team members. 
And in terms of materials and appliances, uh, uh, apl you know, kitchen appliances, refrigerators and things like that. So here we can see it is lit a literal production line. This is building our, our um, flagship 20 by 20 uh, foot casita, which is our entry product as our thin end of the wedge to get into the market. Uh, we will be building everything, most things most of the time, and we are planning on world domination, and I'm completely serious about that. Let's see how we go about it and the systems that allow us to scale massively. So here is the platform for the casita that you saw earlier unfolding, and it is a literal platform. And then we start to build up with the panels very, very quickly in stage number two. We mark them out right here. We have about a dozen stages on this production line. And you can see we're putting in the kitchen and the bathroom um, just with, with, our own, uh, with our own designs, actually. And you can see in the bathroom, which is the unit on the left, we actually leave the front wall off. Why do we leave the front wall off? We'll, 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 we'll show you that in a moment. You can see over here we have huge hinges. This is not your typical home. These are massive I-beams that hinge and interlock together. There's more over here. And down here we can see uh, the gaskets of the product. So when the box wall unpacks, it unpacks and seals up just like a bank vault. Moving on to the next stage, you can see we've put the front wall on the bathroom and you can see the shower is, is in there and we've put that in before we put the front wall on. Why do we do that? Because it's much easier to install without putting the front wall on first. We are analog today. By analog, I mean that we have really a lot of labor. Uh, we are looking to have uh, a fully automated uh, production line. We do not deal with legacy issues. We are constantly buying and throwing away equipment. We are getting to the finish line of mass production, customized homes in pretty much any configuration as quickly as we can. We're only a couple of years old and we're scaling tremendously quickly. And I would say we are probably one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting uh, tech companies around today. So what do we have here? Well, this is one of my favorite uh, station three and station number four. And you can see the efficiency of Boxable as it unpacks, it actually triples in size. So it's the gift that keeps on giving. What does that actually mean when it triples in size? It means we can ship one truck, ship it on one truck instead of three for any given volume. And then of course, the, the core functionality, because it goes to eight and a half feet wide, that's the key metric to ship all around the world within standard shipping infrastructure. Current modular construction that built in a factory bring old generation field tools under a roof, build in a traditional way, and then build something that's 14 foot wide and illegal to ship. Not that smart. So here we go. So in here we can see uh, our panelized system. There's nothing underneath me. It's the magic of laminates. It is absolutely unbelievably strong. And as the guys continue to fit out, we can see over here a ceiling panel we can see that it's a ceiling panel because the round, round cutouts for the LED can lights. And over here, from this station to this station, we can see that the guys have flown in the roof. Over here, we can see that there is no roof. And over here, we can see that there is a roof, including all of the gaskets. And this little wheel up here, this is part of our secret source. When the roof tracks across, which we'll see in the next station, uh, that's almost a landing gear. Let's keep going on our walkabout. Boxable today has raised $150 million in a very, very short period of time. Uh, I believe we're probably the most successful crowdfund in history, uh, outside possibly of crypto. The company's valued at three, about $3.2 billion, so the public is understanding the scale of the opportunity of, of taking the only product category on earth that is not a consumer product, that is not a consumer product, that has currently, when you buy a, a building product, it has variable quality, it takes a very long uh, time to make, but worst of all, it costs a tremendous amount of money and nobody can afford to buy that. 
when we achieve scale, I believe the public will be absolutely shocked at the low cost of our product. And that's what we call a component of sustainability, let's face it. As we come over here, the units, the units have been unpacked and the guys are doing fit out. We play around with when to put product in. We started off putting windows in earlier in the process. Now we put the windows in later in the process. One of the really nice things about Boxable is that there are no headers required. A header is a beam across the top of a window or door for strength. Our panels are so insanely strong, hurricane rated, much higher quality than traditional field construction and uh, much higher quality than a modular standard. And in fact, they're so high quality that we will be uh, going to Washington to write our own federal code uh, to raise the bar for what customers, for what consumers can expect. The goal of Boxable is to build most things most of the time, can't leave a connect, stack, customization for the customer, repeatable factory production for the factory. It's threading a needle. We have, uh, we're obsessive about having the fewest number of unique components, the fewest number of components, the most amount of symmetrical components, but symmetrical components that cannot be installed accidentally upside down. We go down, as I said before, absolutely to a complete granular level in terms of efficiency. Let's take a look and see if we're allowed to sneak inside this guy. Follow me. Don't be fooled by this accent. I am a flag-waving American, as you can see by this uh, giant flag behind me. Hey guys, how you doing? Can I sneak in here? Yeah, go ahead. All right, good. How you doing, buddy? I'm all right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. How you doing? Hey, good to see you. Come on in. How you doing? Hey, guys. How are you? Good. So the guys, fantastic crew. We call them the Bob the Builders. I think we may actually have a couple of Bobs. I'm not sure. And here, here <laughs> hey, darling, how are you? And uh, what we're doing here is just final touch up. We will be looking at the end. We're going to we're going to uh, draft in a, a finished view of an internal casita. And the guys are just doing touch up uh, quality. Well, maybe safety is number one, but quality is absolutely number two. Can we all crowd in here or no? Of course. OK. I can step out for you. No, no, stay there. You're okay. perfect. So Candy is actually having a shower right now. And you can see we couldn't find the shower that we liked. We made our own shower. It's eight foot tall. Candy is extra. If, if uh, if you want a candy in your shower. So, <laughs> let's, let's take a look. Thank you guys. So when the product, when the product is about done, uh, behind me we can see that we shrink wrap it uh, in, in, this, in this plastic for, for transport. In full production, our customers will be able to log on get a view of a fully automated production line and see their actual home and, and modules going down the production line. And we will actually be able to print on there whatever they want. Something like, you know, honey, you know, your mother's moving out. She's going to be living in the boxable unit or, or, something, or something like that. Let's see if we can find our, t our, our taxi from the future. Here it is and we'll take a walk outside. This factory looks really big. It is really big. It's 300,000 square feet. It's about six or seven acres. If I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll get corrected. Uh, our next factory will be in the three to four million square foot range. That'll be our first fully operational factory making three sizes of boxables. And as we saw in that quick uh, render video at the beginning to make most things most of the time. Behind me, we can actually see some of these hinges. We have about 60 mechanical patents, maybe 70. The company will eventually have uh, uh, hundreds of mechanical patents. And uh, that's the price of innovation. For us, customer number one was Elon Musk. That's public information now. Customer number two was the Department of Defense. Pretty good, 156 unit order. Customer number three is DR Horton. For those of you who don't know, DR Horton is the largest storied home builder in America, an unbelievable company. They make 100,000 uh, homes a year. By the way, they have zero patents. Um, and I think they don't mind me saying that. Uh, they are also investors, so they believe in 
in our vision. They, will, they, make about, they just cross over 100,000 homes a year. Our first full production factory, which will be one of many, will make more homes than the R. Horton. That's how quickly we're scaling, and we think we'll be there inside of five years. We're only 18 months old, we're just a baby. Anyway, back to this hinge that we saw earlier. Everything inside the walls that you saw is pre-chased, which means there are holes running through everything. It's pretty cool, and that carries on this theme through here for wiring. And here's a pattern with our hinges, unique component that we double up. Uh, it's a mirror, mirror style. Pretty cool, goes, goes together. Let's take a look outside. I think we're running out of time. I don't want Georgina getting mad at me. So let's go and take a look outside. Okay. So we're just seeing door, door now. We have, we're probably the only factory with a circle, uh, a rotary circle. Uh, here's Bye Bye Boulevard. We are in Las Vegas. So whatever the saying is, Elvis, or in this case, Boxable has left the building. <laughs> and here's where the Boxables e exit. Excuse the sun in your eyes. It is dawn here and it's the afternoon for you. It's a little after six or seven o'clock here. And here's a few days production in front of me. I think we'll just hop out again. And can see what production looks like. Let me just turn the noise off here. So what do they look like? They look like a consumer product, right? It looks like a phone case, perhaps a, a Pixel Google phone or <coughs> an iPhone, sorry, Google, um, case. And that's exactly what a consumer product looks like. It's in full production, this will be the smallest module, 20 by 20. The largest one will be twice as long. It'll be 20 by uh, 40. So pretty cool. And uh, uh, what else do I have to say? I think that's, that, that's about it as a, as a sort of a super top-down view. We are scaling very quickly. I will give a shout out and say, if you are brilliant, if you want to be part of one of those company, if you want to come and live and work in America and you're absolutely fantastically talented, give us a call. Meanwhile, we are going to cut to an interior view of the casita while I run back uh, for, for the Q&A. Thank you very much. You and